they could never. Oh my. I'm back out fresh on the scene. Franchise best on the team. Blue faces busting out the scene. New life is something like a dream. Back out fresh on the scene. Franchise best on the team. Blue faces busting out the scene. New life is something like a dream. What is good, YouTube? It is Brie Hall, and I'm back with another video. And for those of you who do not know, I made a TikTok. Already on TikTok back when it was musically, but then school and life happened, and then I kind of like fell all the way off. But your girl is back on, and I've been making them so make sure to go follow me at I am Brie Hall on TikTok. It's also really 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 addictive getting on to see one thing and then before I know it I'm just like it's been four hours but either way I was on TikTok and I stumbled across some gold potentially so I'm gonna test and see if these TikTok hacks are actually gonna slay the natural hair game because if they do I might go on a deep dive into TikTok and see if there are some more that you guys would like to see me try make sure you tweet me or send me in my Instagram DM some hacks you'd like to see me try as long as it's not going you know mess your girl up I mean we're in quarantine whatever send me anything because it's not like nobody gonna see me anyway except for y'all hey y'all I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the original TikTok. Um, pretend I'm thinking about it, just like. I'm Lyric and usually my hair looks like this, but what did I do? I changed it! Keep in mind it's usually like 4B, 4C, so this was a feat. So I didn't feel like re-showering, re-detangling like everything, so I basically just combed out what was already done. In the process I was feeling like a cutie, so I took some pictures. Wait, Lyric, how'd you get your hair like that in the first place? Take your blow dryer on medium heat and low fan. I was supposed to show you how to like comb through it while blow drying, but then I got confused on how to do a ponytail with white people hair. Now that I'm looking like I dated the moon, we're gonna start sectioning. Now you're gonna take those sections and you're gonna twist them. Twist them to the very last strand, and then you're gonna twist them into bantu knots. People thought that I was using like rods to curl my hair, but honestly, those don't work for shit because my hair is too curly. Now you're gonna sit and wait to be compared to Kodak. Then the next morning, you just take them out. I realize that I look like I'm extremely heavy handed, but that's just how my hair works. So please do not just rip that shit out of your head. Do not go ham. Just separate it, just floof it, just pick it out, you know? Do not comb all the way through your hair or the curls will be lost. That's the entire point of having such defined curls. After you're done reversing your genetic code, just go on ahead and have a nice day. Wait, y'all remember when I had an undercut? <laughs> So we're gonna get to it and try it today. Let me go grab my products. They're literally three feet away. All right, let's get it. Well, I don't know about y'all, no matter how much prep I do to my hair when I blow dry it, it's still, you know, it's just drier than what it would be if I'm styling it on wet hair, just naturally because it is in a blow dried and stretched state. So I always am like kind of debating what products I should be using on blow dried hair. Sometimes if you're not careful, it can come out too greasy. Other times if you use too much of a gelatin, it'll actually get real PC. PC versus greasy. My name is Breezy. Do you want your man or not? Do you know your plans or not? You gonna go back home or not? You gonna claim your throne or not? Is you Khaleesi or that other whose name I don't remember? So oh, for today's video, I decided to do the Melanin Hair Care Twist Elongating Styling Cream from my girl Whitney here on YouTube, AKA Natural85, one of the biggest OGs in the game to natural hair. She taught me so much, so influential, such a nice person. Make sure y'all go follow her. And then on top of that, I wanna get a little bit of extra hold for this. So I'm gonna be using the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse. Frizz Free Curl Mousse. This mousse is, it has hold, but it's not crunchy, crunchy. All right, so I took my clips out and now I'm about to try to section my hair. If my hair looks a little bit shorter, it's because I just did a cut slash trim. My trims don't be that crazy, but they feel crazy when I'm doing them. So I'm going to insert a picture. Hard water here in LA has been a big adjustment. And for my hair, I'll be using this 90, 90, 90, 99 cent shampoo brush. Everybody asks me about these. They are literally a dollar. A lot of people be like, where can I find them? Google is your friend, but I am too. You can get these at like Sally's. You can get them at oh, beauty supply stores that are closed due to quarantine. And I'll try to link some below as well. So this is the first one. Y'all know it's always trial and error here, but we're gonna go ahead and see. I'm gonna take just a little, little bit of that curling cream. You don't want to overdo it on product when you're doing these kinds of things. Actually, it might take a little more. 
Sorry, my hair be thirsty, girl. Even though it is low porosity, so I know it's not gonna absorb every single drop, but hey. Always wanna put some extra on the ends. My ends was looking crusty, and I haven't even been doing anything to my hair. It's literally just the water here does not love me. And I do have a shower head filter, but that's gonna be a whole nother video, y'all. Those things do not work. Said I tried three different filters, and it'll still say it's almost the same. So we're gonna detangle now. Gotta be a quick process since mousse does have a little bit of a water consistency we don't want to revert too much and then i'm gonna go ahead like she said and start twisting immediately this is my favorite twisting technique to actually run the brush through as i twist and people might cringe at this but i've been doing this for years it's what works for me especially with keeping it detangled with shrinkage we are going to be twisting for a little bit and this is the nape of my neck area where i grew up my undercut so hair here is still just a teeny bit shorter we're almost to the end and in the video she said twist to the very very end so that's what we're doing for the bantu knot out i'm actually gonna do kind of a cocoon i haven't done bantu knots in so long and it's actually one of my um top videos here on youtube and y'all know the drill when you get to the end you want to wrap this piece the tightest because the ends are notorious for being loose and you don't want curly roots and loose ends because no loose ends on this chain i know it's gonna stay because of how i wrapped it <laughs> Y'all know what this look like. Uh, the male anglerfish. Google male anglerfish, you'll thank me later. So that's one. I'm gonna do the back half of my hair, y'all. Do some trial and error and then come back once I have the technique fully down and see how the front is gonna look. So we'll be back. All right, so we are back right now, y'all, and I have done this bottom section. This is actually taking longer than anticipated, but when you have a lot of hair, everything kind of takes longer than anticipated. That has been distracting, but I just know based on experience that, you know, with this kind of stuff and my hair density, I have to take smaller sections or I'm gonna get a lot, a lot of frizz. So what I do is I just smooth the product and of course focusing it at the ends, especially the mousse, you want to focus at the ends and then I just work it up and get it close to the root. Another thing I started doing is actually um, adding the melanin multi-use pure oil blend, a little, just a little drop of this. So far this combination feels really moisturizing and the hold is A1. This is just based on observation, similar to how you think of a roller set in the products you choose. So let's say you don't have these products at home. Basically Basically, whatever you would use for like a rod set, use that. Uh oh, no, I let my twist go. I just take it similar to how if you've ever seen cocoon curls, kind of doing a mixture of the bantu knot and cocoon curls since my hair is a lot longer. So I take this, but I just start wrapping it around. Like this. All right, and then when we get to the end, I just wrap it real tight. This is our last section. I'm looking like Kodak right now. You wanna part in the direction that you plan to unravel or that you want your hair to fall. This is made for wet hair. So it actually glides through really well with product. I think this was the original model for the Tangle Teaser, except the Tangle Teaser, the only thing I don't like about these is they have these little edges that are kind of rough on the sides. Um, and the tangle teaser does not show y'all as effective as possible. Wrap around, boom, and you just keep wrapping. And then when you get to the base, this is when you want to wrap nice and tight. These aren't the big ones. And then I'm going to just go ahead, since we're here, and take a little bit of this oil and just put it on my scalp because my scalp could definitely use a little oil. And I'm gonna just throw a bonnet on and go to sleep and we're gonna see if TikTok really gave us life today, y'all. All right, hey YouTube, we are back and I left these in for actually 48 hours, not intentionally and I'm not saying it needs that much time to dry at all, but it's quarantine. I have nowhere to go, nothing to do. And then it just got too late and I was like, yeah, I'll take them out tomorrow. These are what they look like. They feel dry. Let's get into taking these out. All right, y'all. So I'm going to take some of that melanin hair care oil on my hands. I already just put some on here. I'm really nervous, y'all. I don't feel frizz. It feels... Wait, let me get to the middle. It is 100% dry. After 48 hours, I will hope so. But with bands and nuts, you can never be too sure, okay? It's dry. Oh, what? Right, y'all, can we look at this definition, okay? That combo with the melanin hair care, like, look. 
Look at it. All right, I'm gonna come real close in the camera. I don't think y'all understand what I am seeing in person. Like, look. Wow, I already have a good feeling about this, y'all. All right, so we are going to start unraveling. All right, I'm gonna be very gentle. I have something TikTok might be <laughs> saving lives out here. I mean, it already is for entertainment, but for tutorials as well. Sis, sis, wait a, are you kidding me right now? Y'all, this is better than most rod sets I've had. All right, so I'm gonna just take all these down and separate last. Lawn curls could never, <laughs> they could never, oh my. TikTok about to have me being a complete baddie out here, y'all. Flexi rods could never, like y'all, I'm shook. They could actually, but these were actually very comfortable to sleep in and I would not lie to y'all because flexi rods are terrible to sleep in. Perm rods, ironically, are a little bit better, but not that much. I kind of left gaps where I know I lay my head, I sleep on my side, so like I kind of parted on purpose to leave a little gap there and that definitely helped, but these kind of squish flat at night. Oh wait, let me start at the ends. All right, y'all, so this is what they look like all just taken down. I'm shook right now. So the moment of truth, we're about to separate this, y'all, and just see, I have a good feeling based on the definition. I'm gonna be as careful as possible, and I'm gonna time lapse it, but we're just going to start by smoothing the ends the same way, the same way I do my rod sets and twist outs smooth the ends really well so they start to unravel on their own and where they naturally start to separate I'll separate there and I'm nervous but excited All right, y'all, so I'm actually gonna switch to bio silk because I noticed my ends are just a tad, tad bit dry. So I was like, this might make separating a little easier because it has a little bit more slip to it than a traditional oil. So we're gonna see if that works out, all right? All right, y'all, so this is the result that I have after separating a little bit. I am noticing I did get some frizz separating. I was as gentle as I could be, but I noticed my ends were just a teeny bit dry. So if y'all have any products y'all like to like 
moisturize your hair when it's in a blown out state let me know because i always deal with this which is why i can't always keep my hair uh oh focus which is why i can't always keep my hair in a blowout for too long because then it, it just dries out so quickly and i don't like it being greasy in that state so if y'all have any really juicy moisturizing products i could put in my blown out hair to refresh it let your girl know because i'm about to probably turn this into a twist out after a day or two but so this is it and then i clipped it up but i am about to <clears throat> ooh, i'm about to pick out my hair now that it's clipped up y'all this is cute though okay All right, y'all, so this is the final result. Again, if you wanna get the result closer to the TikTok, I think you have to use um, no product because it looked like she didn't use any product and then also less sections. I used set these sections because I knew I wanted to get somewhat of a ringlet curl. Um, but yeah, this is really, really cute, y'all. I think what I would do differently this time is probably, or when I do it the next time, is I'm gonna use a little bit more of a leave-in rather than a holding cream since i already went in with the mousse i think uh it would make my ends feel a little more nourished because um holding this holding cream is really good and it does have moisture but i think this style needs just a little bit more um but other than that this this fro is it's froing y'all i can't wait to see how it looks a little stretched out tomorrow but let me know what you guys think and if you're gonna try this at home if there's any tiktoks or anything you want me to try please DM it to me on Twitter, mention it to me on Twitter, or throw it in my Instagram DMs. But I do check Twitter way more often than Instagram because my following's a little bit smaller on there so I can see everything a lot better. So, love you guys. Make sure to follow me on TikTok at I am Bree Hall, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out, gang gang, and we out. <laughs> Is you gonna subscribe or no? Do you wanna thrive or no? You gonna hit that like or no? Comment what you liked or not. Are you a subscriber or just like the 56% that lurk? I just, I, I gotta go. I need a little bit.